party channel. Woo! <laughs> Good afternoon, it is Sunday. I didn't really feel like talking today. I did a lot of things, but I just like was in my head a lot. So I ran three miles, uh, cleaned the house, did laundry, felt disgusting, so I took a shower. And then I just was painting my toenails and I was about to go write in my journal, but this nice man whom I'm married to, whom I live with, this really freaking sweet, nice man, made me vegan tacos and a margarita. Wow. Why are you trying to negate all my running that I did? I like to keep you on your toes and surprise <laughs> It does keep me on my toes. I gotta do more running. Do more but running. it'll be it'll be worth it. Look at this. Look at this spread. I asked him why he didn't get avocados for guacamole. <laughs> I think it's because um, he has given up on trying to pick out avocados. It still looks amazing. Yay! Yay! Look at this guy. In honor of our four year wedding anniversary, I'm going to attempt to clean my wedding ring from home. What are you gonna do? What do you think about that? I'm gonna use a 50 50 solution of hydrogen peroxide and Windex, which you should only use if your wedding ring is silver or gold, which it is. It's white gold. What if it's a fake diamond? then it'll fucking melt. <laughs> it has to be a real diamond too. You can't use it on any other stone. You can't use it on opal, emerald. Hey, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this. <laughs> Shut up. No, 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 like, you shouldn't do this. Dude, have you seen those TikToks where um, this kid tests, he has like a diamond tester to test the hardness of diamonds and you can tell if it's a real diamond or not. And he goes and like tests his teacher's wedding rings and some of them are fake and they get so mad and they call their husbands. <laughs> How do they know they're fake? Because it's a diamond tester. It's like a, it's like test the hardness of it. So diamonds have a certain level of hardness that no other gemstones have. So if you use this solution right now, is it gonna, if it isn't a diamond? It'll it's turn fake. green if it's not a diamond. I have to go see my family right now. Oh, okay. That's weird. It's really random for you to just leave. Well, well, I'm all so it's because I You don't seem very excited for me to clean my ring. No, I want you to do it. Oh, you seem like, you seem a little down. No, no, I just have a little headache. You yeah. seem a little scared. No, I have a headache. Are you scared because mm. maybe it's not a real diamond? Huh? Is no. that why you're scared? No. Oh, okay. Then... 100%, 100%. Okay, well, it's like you, 90, you want some Advil? 9% real, I think. 99%? Uh, that's what the guy told me. Oh. No, he was 99%. I've never heard sure. about <laughs> He said he was 99% sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see. I don't know about the 99% diamonds, but we'll find out. So Nikki, you're, it's fake. I'm, not, I'm actually not kidding. <laughs> Shut I'm up. I'm actually not kidding. Don't do this. No, seriously, don't do this. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm actually not kidding. I swear. No, you're not. Don't do this. <laughs> you're the worst liar. Uh, Nikki, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a fake. I got it for three hundred dollars. No, you didn't. I saw the bills from Kay that came in. Wait, how did you see? Wait, how did you see those? I, I told you. Know how you. much it's worth? How much is it worth? I don't. I don't know how much it's worth. I just saw how much do you you. I got three hundred dollars from Kay. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's what it said, probably. Good morning. I bent over to tie my shoe, and this monster climbed on my back, and now I'm stuck here. And this is this is my life, and this is my life. I'm just a. Uh, Camel for cats. I will get my drink on tonight. I'ma get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, and you don't kill my my vibe, I will get my drink on tonight. I'ma get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, and you don't kill my my vibe, I'm gonna party until I drop. I'm not looking for love, I'm looking for fun. Just because I have my skin tight jeans doesn't mean I need a man to save me. I do it all for fun. Looking hot in my five or ones. Don't you know I tease? I'm not here to Starting to incorporate strength training into my workout routine again, but it's not my favorite. It's my favorite after. I love the way muscles feel when they're like, not sore enough that you can't walk, but 
still sore like where you're like i did something yeah so yeah i have like no upper body strength i'm really trying to work on that um but i figure we'll start slow like i'm still doing my walks every day but now i'm just incorporating like one day a week of strength training where like it's like a 30 minute strength training session and then i also ran a mile afterwards i jogged a mile afterwards i didn't run but i jogged a light jog and uh also trying to get really good about stretching afterwards because my muscles no they were like yo we sit for a living now like we mm -mm, pandemic made it so that like we are not standers or stretchers we are sitters so they don't like it's a stretch anymore but anyway we're working on it want to see something cute okay so ever since i moved all of this stuff into this area instead of in the cupboards i can see everything like really clearly right and that's what i love about it um but also i started making oatmeal every morning again and like this is like a cute little breakfast bar where i take these two out it's like a rolled old-fashioned oats and some brown sugar and i heat up the oatmeal and then i got my toppings here got some cacao nibs got some hemp hearts um i also got fresh fruits in the in the fridge so we like have ourselves a little healthy meal and i think it's a good way to start the day rather than um scrounging for whatever we have in the fridge which is usually like vegan cheese making changes cold pizza tuesday, tuesday. i got food up in the fridge Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is. Cold pizza on a Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. So James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, says that if you want to have a new habit be successful, one of the best things you can do is just like make it easy for yourself to continue to do on a daily basis. So I was not making it easy on myself to eat healthy. Like the easiest choice was Postmates every time. We're on a new path now, we're making new habits. Well, that was kind of like an old habit that went away and then now it's like, we need to make it a new habit. We're doing this. It's a party channel. Get freaking pumped, everybody. Last time I changed my duvet cover, I talked about how difficult it is to change a duvet cover and how I'm like exhausted every time. And a bunch of you in the comments recommended the burrito method, which I had never heard about before. Game changer if it works. I've never tried it. So we're gonna try it today, see if it works. I will share with you the results or you can see with your very own eyes. With your very own eyes if you have eyes i'm sorry to those of you who don't have eyes if you do not have eyes i will narrate what happens huh what's up people without eyeballs also sorry for fake coughing me you probably are wearing like headphones or something that might have been rude but anyway here is how you burrito roll a duvet cover step one we're gonna steal the sheet from a cat. Step two, we're gonna turn that duvet cover inside out and lay it across the bed. Seems pretty straightforward, but just in case you wanna match the corners of the duvet to the corners of your mattress. Step three, take your ugly discolored comforter and lay it across the top of your duvet now. Making sure that the short side was with the short side and the long side with the long side and you can tie it at the corners. A lot of comforters have the spot where like where you could tie it at the corners that's optional but like you could do that i do that step four starting at the head of your bed you're just gonna roll everything like a burrito by everything i mean just the duvet and the comforter not the mattress just yeah just you got it step five tuck the ends into the duvet opening like at the bottom that's like kind of open just tuck it all in there on each side step six unroll your burrito now <laughs> this is satisfying also you can add the cats back in Add cats back in to taste. I usually add one to four. And this concludes our narration of the burrito duvet cover method. Thanks for listening, people without eyeballs. And to the rest of you, <laughs> have a good night. Wow, that absolutely did work. I am both perplexed and shocked and 
so happy by it? Why is this something they don't teach you? This is some shit they don't tell you for sure that they should tell you. I could have been saved so many hours of exhaustion if I had known this trick earlier. But anyway, thank you to those people who commented that. And also maybe next time I'll do it without wrinkles. Also, they say if you did a good enough job, three cats will show up to inspect your work and approve. All good, guys? I think we're good. Hell yeah, we learned things. Hell yeah, Joe, take a nap. Yeah. Party channel, woo! Look at us, we're on a cute walk right now. We're doing it. Super cute people on a super cute Very walk. Very cute walk. I was telling Steve that since I don't really leave the house ever, the sky looks so big. Yeah, it got bigger. The sky looks really big to me. Like I go outside, but just in our patio, and so there's really just like a strip of sky that you see because it's all surrounded by trees, which I like. I like that it's surrounded by trees, but like, whoa, the sky is so big. <laughs> it's crazy. Y'all keep looking for a new wave. I think I like.